Good morning. Happy Easter. Welcome to Our Lady of Assumption Church. We're so happy to see all of you here this morning. We invite you to please stand, turn to your neighbor, introduce yourself, and extend a warm greeting to those around you. Now, let us bow our heads in silence to clear our minds and to open our hearts in order to receive the real presence of Jesus in the sacrament of the word and the sacrament of the Eucharist, which we place upon this altar of sacrifice. And now please join us in singing number 542 in the music issue. Joyful, joyful, we adore thee. No, no, no. Number 542. Just kidding. <laughs> please join us in singing Jesus Christ is risen today. Number 66 in today's missile. Sorry. Jesus Christ is risen today. Good morning and happy Easter. We gather praying that God's blessings and peace will be upon us. In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace, peace, and the love of God our Father through the power of the Spirit be with you always. This is a season of life. We rise with Christ so that we might experience the fullness of life that God promises us. 
It is in the midst of our human condition, however, that we turn to the Lord now, praising God who gives us life that we might live it to the full. That fullness is through mercy, compassion, and peace. May we be open to receive the risen Christ in our lives today. Lord, you were sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. And Lord, you gather us as a community of faith, as your faithful people. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. And may Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. O God, who on this day, through your only begotten Son, have conquered death and unlocked for us the path to eternity, grant, we pray, that we who keep the solemnity of the Lord's resurrection may, through the renewal brought by your Spirit, rise up in the light of life. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Let us be seated now as we are attentive to the word of God proclaimed for us this morning. A 
reading from the Acts of the Apostles. Peter proceeded to speak and said, You know what has happened all over Judea, beginning in Galilee, after the baptism that John preached. How God anointed Jesus of Nazareth with the Holy Spirit and power. He went about doing good and healing all those oppressed by the devil, for God was with him. We are witnesses of all that he did, both in the country of the Jews and in Jerusalem. They put him to death by hanging him on a tree. This man, God raised on the third day and granted that he be visible, not to all people, but to us, the witnesses chosen by God in advance, who ate and drank with him after he rose from the dead. He commissioned us to preach to the people and testify that he is the one appointed by God as judge of the living and the dead. To him, all the prophets bear witness that everyone who believes in him will receive forgiveness of sins through his name. The word of the Lord. This is 
A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians. Brothers and sisters, do you not know that a little yeast leavens all the dough? Clear out the old yeast so that you may become a fresh batch of dough inasmuch as you are unleavened. For our Paschal Lamb, Christ has been sacrificed. Therefore, let us celebrate the feast, not with the old yeast, the yeast of malice and wickedness, but with the unleavened bread of sincerity and truth. The word of the Lord. <clears throat> Please remain seated for our Easter sequence. Thank you. 
Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. On the first day of the week, Mary of Magdala came to the tomb early in the morning while it was still dark and saw the stone removed from the tomb. So she ran and went to Simon Peter and to the other disciple whom Jesus loved and told them, they have taken the Lord from the tomb and we don't know where they put him. So Peter and the other disciple went out and came to the tomb. They both ran, but the other disciple ran faster than Peter and arrived at the tomb first. He bent down and saw the burial cloth there, but did not go in. When Simon Peter arrived after him, he went into the tomb and saw the burial cloth there and the cloth that had covered his head, not with the burial cloth, but rolled up in a separate place. Then the other disciple also went in, the one who had arrived at the tomb first, and he saw and believed. For they did not yet understand the scripture that he had risen from the dead. The gospel of the Lord. Praise you, Lord Jesus Christ. Earthquake. We celebrate this day as a pivotal moment in a life's journey because the power of the risen Christ is in our midst. It is a power that converts hearts. It's a power that surprises us with joy as we rejoice on this day. God is mystery. We can't figure it out. And yet, God is all around us. As we heard last night in the great celebration of Holy Saturday night, in the gift of creation, God placed his life in us in a very profound and wonderful way. God breathed his life over the waters of creation, and then he breathed his life into us. And what we celebrate today is how that life continues to develop and grow within us, how it changes hearts through the power of forgiving love, how it renews us, that we journey in faith Easter after Easter after Easter, and little by little by little we begin to have eyes of faith that see more clearly. What is this great mystery about? That a God could choose death to give new life. That God could choose forgiving love to heal the wounds that we experience in our lives. That when we are filled with doubt, God gives us faith. When we are filled with despair, God gives us hope. And when we're filled with isolation, God offers us love. We are privileged to live in this area because the great mystery of God's revelation is brought forth to us whenever you walk the promenade of the beach and you see the people who construct those rock formations, laying stone upon stone upon stone. Many of them are homeless, and many of them, you would think, wouldn't have the skill or the ability because of a shaky hand to somehow place those stones upon stones. But even more importantly, that they have a depth of faith to create images that mean something to us. Last Christmas, I posted on Facebook, as mid many others, that image of the manger in a rock formation. And now sits out there at the point near the, near the pier are the three crosses 
of Jesus and the two thieves. Once again, a reminder of God's saving grace in our midst. More than likely, done by the most unlikely of artists. And yet, they leave that statement of faith there for all to see. And thank God nobody walks up to push it over. That there is a mount of respect for the image and that reminder of the risen Christ. We need that in our world today. We need that power to remind us of what the Lord is doing in our lives. We saw that last night when we baptized five adults and one young man. Today, we will baptize three children who will share with us a statement of faith. And you might say, well, why children? Why do you baptize children? How can they make any statement of faith? Well, None of us really makes the statement of faith because it's what God does through us that allows us to make that statement of faith. And so it is their parents who bring them to the sacrament. And together, as a family, you make this statement of faith. But you make that statement of faith within this family. And that reminds us then that in this Easter sacrament, it is our faith together that binds us in the love of the risen Christ. It is our faith together that reminds us that we are never alone. In the gospel today, Peter and John run to the tomb. And of course, the younger guy gets there first. But out of respect for the older man, he waits. And Peter enters to see a sign that the Lord is gone. And then the younger man, who Jesus loved especially, walks in, sees, and believes. We pray that's us, that every day we see the wonder of God built up for us in the gift of creation. We see the wonder of God revealed to us in the power of redeeming love. We see the power of the Lord as we gather as a community of faith in this church today, as family and friends, as people who are seeking to know more fully, what does this mean for us? And we ask God to touch our hearts, that we might see the power of God's goodness in this moment now. May it heal a broken world in our midst. May it heal those broken families in our midst may heal those broken hearts in our midst that we might have life and as God promised, to live it to the full. That is not a beginning of a song. <laughs> <laughs> but I invite you to please stand and I'm going to invite the families that are going to be baptizing their children to come forward and stand before us. Some things just have to be made right first. I'm going to have you come up. All of us together at this special time of the season will renew our baptismal promises. And so, my brothers and sisters, through the Paschal Mystery, we have been buried with Christ in baptism so that we may rise with him to new life now that our Lenten observance is completed, let us renew the promises of, of holy baptism by which we once renounced Satan and his works and promised to serve God in the Holy Catholic Church. And so, together with those who are about to be baptized and all of us, do you renounce Satan and all his works? Do you renounce sin so as to live in the freedom of God's children? I do. Do you renounce the lure of evil so that sin may no more have no more mastery over you? I do. Do you believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth? I do. 
Do you believe in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was born of the Virgin Mary, suffered death and was buried and rose again from the dead and is seated at the right hand of the Father? I do. Do you believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting? I do. May Almighty God, the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, who has given us new birth by water and the Holy Spirit and bestowed on us forgiveness of our sins, keep us by his grace. In Christ Jesus, our Lord, for everlasting life. Amen. And so is it your will that these children should be baptized in the faith we have just professed with you? Okay. We'll start with the older ones and hope the younger one sees it's okay. Name is Cooper, and so Cooper, I baptize you in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. This is Aaliyah. Okay, bend over. bend over. Look at me. Aaliyah. Turn, turn your face toward me. I baptize you in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Okay, Mom, you're going to hold her. Okay. Yeah, we'll just do this. <laughs> Poor Sabrina here. She's hanging in midair. Okay. <laughs> Sabrina, I baptize you. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, amen. Godfather here. The light of Christ, the new fire that burns in our lives, the risen Christ is in our midst. And so I invite you now to please light your candles from the Paschal candle as we present these, this light to them. And so receive the light of Christ. Parents and godparents, this light is entrusted to you to be kept burning brightly. These children of yours have been enlightened by Christ. He is so all, they are to always walk as children of the light. May they keep the flame of faith alive in their hearts. And when the Lord comes, may he go out to meet them with all the saints in God's heavenly kingdom. Amen. And now we bless you with this special oil that you might live in the power and the love of Christ. Aaliyah, through this holy anointing, may the Lord in his love and his mercy 
fill you with the grace of the Holy Spirit. May the Lord who saves you raise you up. Amen. Through this holy anointing, may the Lord in his love and mercy fill you with the grace of the Holy Spirit. May the Lord who frees you from sin, save you, and raise you up. And through this holy anointing, may the Lord in his love and mercy fill you with the grace of the Holy Spirit. May the Lord who frees you from sin save you and raise you up. We thank you for bringing your children to the church. And now the rest of us get to receive the life-giving water.
seeking to live more fully in the power of the resurrection, let us offer our prayers to God, our almighty Father. For the church as the body of Christ on earth, may she faithfully and courageously proclaim the truth of his resurrection. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all who were received into the church at the Easter Vigil, may they continue to grow in holiness of life and be open to the fullness of life offered by the prayers in Lord. <clears throat> we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We join Pope Francis in his prayer for victims of abuse. We humbly ask for the courage to acknowledge and repair past injustices and the strength to remain faithful in the work of protecting those most vulnerable among us. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all married couples who celebrate anniversaries, especially those listed in this week's bulletin, may they be effective channels of God's grace. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all gathered here today, may our belief in the love and forgiveness of God inspire us to seek peace and reconciliation in our families and communities. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all who are sick, especially Jorge Aguilera, Roberta Hughes, Sandy Torres, and Teresa Perales. May they be blessed as they receive comfort from those who care for them. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those who have died, especially Joseph Barcy, Josina Vigil, and Jack Harris. May their families be comforted and consoled in their grief. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for the repose of the soul of Antonio and Teresa Moon, Celestina Cortez Sr., Del Mercer, and we pray for the special intentions of Phil and Alice Alfonso, for whom this Mass is being offered. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those intentions not spoken, which we now share only with the Lord. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Almighty and eternal God, your Son, Jesus, has won victory over sin and death. As we celebrate his victory on this Easter day, we ask to hear our prayers and to draw us closer to you. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Please join us in singing number 572 in the music issue, Worthy is the Lamb, number 572 in the music issue.
And so, my sisters and brothers, let us now pray. That our sacrifice may be acceptable to God, our Heavenly Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at our hands for the praise and the glory of God's name, for our good and the good of all, His holy church. Exultant with paschal gladness, O Lord, we offer the sacrifice by which your church is wondrously reborn and nourished through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. Amen. Lift up your hearts. Amen. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. Amen. It is right and just. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to acclaim you, O Lord. But on this day above all, to laud you yet more gloriously when Christ, our Passover, has been sacrificed. For he is the true lamb who has taken away the sins of the world by dying. He has destroyed our death by rising, restored our life. Therefore, overcome with paschal joy, every land, every people exults in your praise. And even the heavenly powers with the angelic hosts Sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the font of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. As we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray 
that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity. Together with Francis, our Pope, and Jose, our Bishop, with all the clergy and all who serve you through Christian ministries. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, that we may merit to be co-heirs eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. We stand together, united in the faith we share, asking God's blessings upon us as we sing. From every evil, graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sin, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. May the peace of the Lord be with you always. Let us offer one another a sign of Christ's peace.
behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. How blessed are those invited to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, my soul shall be healed. On this special day, we know we have many guests and visitors with us. We know that uh, maybe some of you may not have the Eucharist as part of your own spiritual journey. This is a very special time for us as Catholic Christians. We believe that this is the body and the blood of the Lord. But we do wish that even though the Eucharist is not part of your own devotion, that you would be feel free to come forward for a blessing that the ministers of Eucharist might offer that prayer of blessing over you. And so to indicate that, just cross yourself in this fashion, and the minister will then offer that prayer of blessing. In this way, all of us are receiving the goodness and the wonder of God's love. Please join us in singing number 320 in the music issue, Let Us Break Bread Together, number 320 in the music issue.
please join us in singing number 323 in the music issue, To Be Your Bread, number 323 in the music issue.
Let us pray. Exultant with paschal gladness, O Lord, we offer the sacrifice by which your church is wondrously reborn and nourished. Through Christ our Lord, amen. amen. On behalf of Father Beto and Father Deacon Phil and all of the deacons in the parish, we want to express a very special blessing upon all of you during this Easter season. Thank you for being here to pray with us this morning. Thank you for always gathering in fidelity. So may the Lord be with you. And may God's blessings and peace be upon us throughout this day. The Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace. Alleluia. Alleluia. Thanks be to God. Alleluia. Alleluia. I think we cheated. Go in peace, alleluia, alleluia. Thanks be to God, alleluia, alleluia. As we are sent forth, please join us in singing number 675 in the music issue. I know that my Redeemer lives. Number 675 in the music issue. Don't. 